To walk alone in nature is to truly connect with our spirit and the spirit of our land. It's moments like this, when I'm alone in the woods, where I feel the most connected with myself and the world around me. It's something I long for after long days at work or hours spent in cities and with the busyness of life, it's things like this that I cherish. So today, I ran off into the woods to find some solace, to listen to the sounds of the flowing water, to the birds, to the squirrels, and to reconnect with myself. Wallace Stevens once said that human nature is like water, taking the shape of its container. But in nature, we, just like water, are free to flow, gather, or change, which might be why I enjoy sitting by a waterfall, hearing the rush of the water flow over the rocks so much. I'm actually in South Carolina right now, just a couple hours from Atlanta, which is where I'm working again for the last couple of months and for the next few months as well. And this is a cute little tiny house. There's a fantastic view out here. I actually just spent the evening kind of sitting by the fire, looking at the stars. I watched the sunset and I went on just a leisurely walk to a waterfall earlier. So, so far it's just been really great and it's been exactly what I've needed to kind of get back into my creative headspace. You know, I'm gonna spend tonight just journaling and trying to come up with some new ideas, trying to kind of get more clear on my objectives for not only 2022, but just my brands in general for Alice's Adventures, for my travel company, Travganic, and try to streamline and narrow things down to be a better businesswoman all around. So it's really important to take little brain breaks like this that I'm doing this weekend. And I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I'm gonna to be spending some more time out finding just some local trails here in the area that I'm at. I actually find most of my places that I go just using Google Maps and all trails and seeing what looks good in the area. So tomorrow I'll be doing a little bit more of that. Today I went on already a short hike to a great waterfall called the Yellow Branch Waterfall, which is actually right down the street from this little Airbnb that I'm staying at. And I think there's a lot of other waterfalls and things to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna turn in for the night, but I hope you guys continue to stay with me for the rest of this video so you can see some of this beautiful area around. This trail really reminds me of where I grew up. I actually just passed some old ruins to what looks like what was was an old home from, you know, hundreds of years ago out here. And it's just really beautiful. Lots of leaves covering the trail. This just follows along the river. And so far there's been tons of waterfalls.
trees not only bring us life when they're alive, but when they're dead, they continue to bring life. This is why it's so important in forests, if you really wanna manage them in the natural way, you leave dead trees. Now, this tree is actually dead, but all along the tree here, it's continuing to bring life here. You know, there's funguses all over this, moss. And this is one of the most beneficial things that down trees do is that they provide habitat for not only mosses and lichens and fungus, which help decompose the organic material, bringing life to new forests, but it also creates a habitat for little insects, squirrels, rodents, birds, and other animals as well. I just wanted to pop on here before I ended the video. I am back in Atlanta. As you can see, I've got a huge smile on my face because this weekend was exactly what I needed to reconnect, to feel more re-centered with myself, and to kind of get rid of some of the self-doubt, some of the imposter syndrome that I'm sure you know most of us face, <laughs> at least maybe on a weekly or a monthly basis in this hectic and busy world that we live in. And it's weekends like this one that I just had that really helped me kind of get my goals, my head oriented, kind of disconnect from the hustle and bustle of technology and what's really important, which is this planet that we live on, protecting it, making, making this world the best place that each of us individually can make it. I think that nature is such a healing power, being able to connect with the earth and listen to nature also helps us reconnect with ourselves. So I know this video wasn't some crazy hike up a mountain or solo backpacking, but I hope you guys enjoyed this more just look inside my life a little bit and Hopefully you're able to take away some lessons from this video as well that you can do in your life You know, I challenge you next year to take some time to be by yourself To get to know yourself on a deeper level and for me, that's always in nature I know everyone's different, but I'd love to have you share some of your stories if you're trying to be more connected with who you are in this next year that's coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, for staying with me here at the end for my <laughs> little rant um, as well. Um, if you're new, subscribe. If you're not, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'm really excited for what's coming up in 2022. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be sharing, but I have a lot of ideas that I'm really excited about. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel for what's to come. And thank you guys again. Bye.